Well, what is an RTM home? And why would somebody want one? It seems like today's world is made up of acronyms. We get our parcels shipped by UPS. We have our DIY projects at home. And we want everything ASAP, please. Recently, I did a video on ICF building systems, and now we're discussing RTM homes. Hi, and welcome back. I'm Bruce Boys from Homes and Life, here to give you more information about homes and life. In this video, I'll explain what an RTM home is and why they may be a good option for a new home. And I would also like to say thank you to those who have watched my videos and have subscribed. Okay, here's the short answer. An RTM home is a ready-to-move dwelling. There does seem to be some confusion about what an RTM is, so I'll explain a bit about what it is and what it is not. An RTM home is a traditional stick-built house that is built off-site. In some cases, they're built inside a large structure, and in other cases, they're built in an outdoor setting. But in both cases, they're built at the builder's site and then transported to the purchaser's site. They're built in the same way that a regular stick-built house is built, but they're built on temporary blocks to make it easier for the house movers. In most cases, an RTM is built just a little bit stronger than a conventional house with additional plywood or OSB on some of the interior walls under the drywall. This is to give greater reinforcing and resistance to movement during the transport as it's going down the road. Usually, an RTM is a completed house, with the exception of maybe swinging lamps or things that could move during transport. There's no assembly required at the site. When they arrive at the purchaser site, the foundation will be ready, already prepared, and the movers just slide the house onto the foundation. This foundation or basement could be a regular concrete foundation. It could be a foundation built using the ICF building system, or it might even be a pressure treated wood foundation. But once that RTM house is on the foundation and secured, an RTM is regarded as real property, the same as a traditionally built house. As I mentioned earlier, there does seem to be some confusion as to what an RTM is. Probably another easy way to clarify the term is to show what an RTM is not. An RTM is not a mobile home. A mobile home is a structure built on and supported by steel frames. Originally, mobile homes were large trailers with axles and tongues. They were somewhat flimsy and not really very high quality. But this has improved greatly over the years to the point where they're usually well built and they are an option for comfortable living. The axles and the tongues have disappeared and they're usually supplied by the mobile home moving company should the need to relocate arise. Unfortunately, banks and insurance companies look at mobile homes as non-permanent structures and sometimes are reluctant to deal with them. In addition, mobile homes will often depreciate in value, especially if they're placed on a property not owned by the buyer. A mobile home park would be the example there. Mobile homes are built to a standard, but is a different standard than a regular house. Another thing a mobile home is not is a modular home. Modular homes are more comparable to mobile homes, but they come in modules, different pieces. They're built off site and then they're transported to the site. Uh, they can be built with numerous modules. It actually gives them a lot of flexibility as far as a, a unique layout, different plan of a house and they can even be multi-stories high. The most common are the two-piece modular homes, sometimes known as a double-wide modular home. 
They're often still built with steel rails, but they can be placed on a foundation. Double wides will usually have a thick wall in the middle where the two modules are joined together. So is a RTM a manufactured home? Well, what the term manufactured home refers to these days is usually a mobile home. Some of it is semantics because there's some connotations when you say a mobile home as opposed to a manufactured home. But you can usually tell again the difference by a certification sticker in the house somewhere. If it's a manufactured home, it's built to different standards than a regular home. So why would somebody want to buy an RTM house? Couldn't you just have a built on site? Yes, you could. But here's an interesting thing. Normally you'll, you'll dig a hole, you'll build the foundation, and then you'll build the house on top. And that all takes a progressive amount of time. With an RTM home, you can have one crew working on the foundation, while at the very same time, the builder is building the house. So there is definitely a time savings with an RTM home. Also, and this is especially true in a rural area, being built on the builder site is more convenient for trades and for inspections. They don't have to travel out of town to get those inspections done or to do the work. Also, the builder's quality control people are right there on site checking on the build. And banks regard an RTM as a conventional home. They make the financing easier and cheaper than some other options. Some of the other options, these uh, homes are regarded as chattels because they're not permanent. And the financing could be a little more expensive and challenging to obtain. Overall, an RTM is a viable option for a strong, comfortable home, with buyers able to have a fairly quick build with conventional financing. And often the floor plan can be modified to the buyer's preference and as well decorating can be done to the buyer's choice or left for the buyer to complete. Well, this has been a very quick thumbnail sketch of what an RTM home is. And if you have questions, please ask in the comments section below and I will answer those questions. And also please remember to click the subscribe button. There's plenty more videos to come. Remember, life is an adventure. I'll talk to you again soon.